What is up my friends and welcome back to the GunnersDen.com YouTube channel. This time we're going to be taking a look at a holster that I use on those rare occurrences when I do any kind of activity and exercise. And of course I'm talking about the Brave Response holster. This holster is one that I have actually had now for almost seven years. After the company first developed it, they sent it out to a handful of testers and I was one of those people. I was working for a different publication at the time. I won't name who it is because they actually turned out to be less than gun friendly and I have zero tolerance for people who are anti-freedom. So I've had this holster for quite a long time and what's really cool about it is that it attaches directly to your body and it does not require the use of a belt and it attaches by way of velcro and it is stretchy so for your reference i'm six foot four and i'm roughly 300 pounds i recently just started on my journey to lose extra weight uh, i started at right about 310 pounds I'm down, I'm now down to 293, or at least I was yesterday. I fluctuate a little bit, but I'm on a journey to lose more weight. So that caused me to bust this thing back out and get it ready again for when I start doing my more active stuff in an attempt to lose this last 80 pounds or first 80 pounds, however you look at it. So this thing is really really cool and because it attaches to your body again it doesn't need a belt so it's got the velcro and i'll show you an up close and i don't want to call it velcro because it's not actually velcro we'll just call it hook and loop so this is what the hook and loop looks like up close this is the back of that side this whole thing is stretchy well i mean obviously the hook and loop's not going to stretch but all in between so the, the, the velcro the hook and loop doesn't run the entire length of the strap. There are breaks for stretchy material, as you'll see. And I've, I've put my own fair share of stretch into this thing over the years from wearing it because I am rather large. As you'll see on this side, um, it just looks worn. But remember, this thing is almost seven years old. So here is the soft side of the hook and loop. And overall, it's, it's very strong and it really stays attached to your body quite well when you are, have, when you have it attached properly. As you can see, it worked. It didn't come apart. Um, and it doesn't go anywhere when you put it on. So now I'm gonna show you uh, what I have here. This is my Springfield Armory XD9. The, the reason why I brought this out was not to be an XD fanboy, because I'm not. This is my only XD. And um, again, I don't carry this gun anymore. The point was to show you that the gun is clear and to show you the versatility of this holster. <clears throat> so the cool thing about this holster is that you can carry virtually any firearm in it because it's very versatile. So here we have the XD9 with a four inch barrel in the Brave Response holster. There's a little bit of muzzle coming out the bottom here. That's okay though. And What's cool about this is that you can, so here's the XD9 magazine. Now I'm going to insert it in the magazine pouch. There are three magazine pouches. Now they are strong side magazine pouches. So you would need to do a cross draw if you needed to reload. But I tend to come from the mindset of it's better to have it and struggle to get it out if you need to, then not have it at all. So if you were running around in the middle of the night, I like to run at, 
at night when I'm actually out running because I probably make funny faces when I run because if you were carrying around 300 pounds, you probably would be making funny faces too. And I don't want people looking at me, so I run at night. But if I wanted to carry a gun at night in black bear country or, you know, even if I was in an urban setting and I didn't want to be surrounded by bad guys, if I ended up in the wrong part of town or something like that, I could carry extra ammo. So there's this pouch here, there is a pouch here, and there is also a pouch here. Now, I wouldn't recommend sticking a pouch or a magazine in this pouch because I feel like it might be in the way of the grip. But having the two in the front of the gun filled with extra ammo, that's not a bad idea. So now what I'm going to do is show you even more versatility. So here I have my Sig Sauer P938. Again, it's empty. There's no ammo. And this is a totally safe firearm. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in here. And now you'll see that this little P938 with its much smaller stature also fits like a dream inside this holster. So now... I don't know if you can see this here, but there is also a retention strap. This retention strap is hooked to the inside of the holster via Velcro, or sorry, via hook and loop, and it is an active snap retention. So it's too big on this little P938, right? So if I were to snap that, that wouldn't really help all that much, but I could adjust it if needed and it's good for the xd9 it is i had just adjusted it for the xd9 so i could flip this upside down and that's not going anywhere it's nice and secure in there um, and it's good to go so this is a really neat holster it does offer some trigger protection which is always a necessity to me for when you're carrying a concealed gun in a holster because the last thing you ever want to do is accidentally shoot yourself um, or unintentionally shoot yourself because I don't believe in accidental discharges I only believe in negligence um, but this thing works very well for what it is it's very comfortable and it's good for all different size bodies and types and you can trim it if needed I will say that there is a little bit of an irritant when you first wear it until you have to uh, figure out where you need to adjust this because this hook and loop here, the hard part, is kind of capable of digging into your skin a little bit when it's on your body. And um, it, it, it's a, it leaves a lot to be desired. But once you know that that's there, you can actually adjust the holster for your body and it works quite well. So I'll leave a link in the description where you can find this thing. Uh, this is available on concealedcarry.com's website. Um, they're good friends of mine. They've taken good care of me in, in, you know, for, for many years um, when I was the managing editor over there uh, for the past four years until recently we parted ways. Um, this is a it's not the most affordable holster you think looking at this it's going to be cheaper than what it is but again i've had this thing for seven years and it's still holding up just fine just how you want it obviously i haven't worn it every day for seven years um, but i have clearly put it through its paces because it is stretched out but it still works. So again, I'll leave a link in the description. And if you thought that this video was useful, I would appreciate it if you could like the video, maybe subscribe to the channel also. It really helps us out here and uh, all the love we can get really just makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. So until next time, my friends, carry what makes you scary.